Shalom, this is Russ again. In this video, we're going to take a quick lesson in the Greek language, the Koine Greek that the New Testament was written in. Now read with me, if you will, in the book of John, chapter 20, beginning at verse 1 through 10. As we read these verses, just try to imagine these pictures. Also, you'll see that I emphasize the word saw three different times. And that's what we're going to learn about today. Now the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb early, while it was still dark, and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. Then she ran and came to Simon Peter and to the other disciple, whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken away the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Peter therefore went out, and the other disciple, and were going to the tomb. So they both ran together, and the other disciple outran Peter, and came to the tomb first. And he, stooping down and looking in, saw the linen clothes lying there, yet he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb, and he saw the linen clothes lying there, and the handkerchief that had been around his head, not lying with the linen cloths, but folded together in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who came to the tomb first, went in also, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not know the scripture, that he must rise again from the dead. Then the disciples went away again to their own homes. In these three uses of the word saw, in verse 1, Mary sees the stone has been rolled away. A simple observation. Peter, looking in, he sees the linen cloths lying there. And then finally John, when he went in the tomb, he saw and believed. In all three cases, in English, we read the word saw. But in the Greek, this is not the case. In verse 1, when Mary saw the tomb rolled away, the Greek word is blepo. And it just basically means to see when you look at something or see something. In verse 6, when it says that Peter saw the linens lying there, the Greek word is theorero. And you can imagine, this is where we get our Greek word to theorize. And it means just that, to discern or to perceive something. In verse 8, when we read that John saw and he believed, the Greek word there is idio. And it has a stronger meaning. More than perceive, it means to be sure or to understand something. The little light bulb had went off in his head. Now John understood what had happened. When we examine the Greek, we can see the progression that goes on here. First Mary sees, she just sees something with her eyes. Now Peter sees, and he begins to theorize, the ro'o. And finally, when John sees, he goes beyond the theorizing, and now he understands. The next time you read that Peter, stooping down and looking in, you can imagine him going to a tomb that looked very much like this, looking in and then theorizing about what had happened. And finally, consider John, stooping down and going into a tomb that looked very much like this. He goes beyond theorizing because now he's beginning to understand and he believes. We are